Understanding eBay seller limits. eBay seller limits are one of the most important factors on our dropshipping business because the more limits that we have, the more products we can sell and the more profit we can make at the end of the month. A lot of service providers are charging people to increase their eBay seller limits, which is another reason why I wanted to make this video for you guys so you can do it for yourself, but most importantly, understand how they work and what you need to do to increase them. All of that in this video, so stay tuned, watch this quick intro and let's begin. What's up everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day today. My name is Liran from AutoDS, I'm the content manager and I've also been dropshipping for the last few years. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about eBay selling limits so you will understand exactly how it works, what you need to do to get around it, increase it and continue making your sales and profits. And one second before we do that, if you are new to our YouTube channel, this is the part where you need to subscribe to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the dropshipping world. So hit that subscribe button and let's begin. eBay selling limits. What are they to begin with? Let's start with a little explanation given on our blog page, which I'll leave a link to right below this video. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys some live examples and some extra bonus explanations from the blog article. So what are eBay selling limits? Selling limits are eBay's way of limiting new sellers on their platform from simply growing too fast. Why would they want to do that, you ask? Think about it. If there weren't any selling limits, anyone can open a seller account, list expensive products, sell them, get the money from the buyer, not ship anything out, keep the money and simply close your eBay account or don't close your eBay account. Just don't send out the product, keep the money and do whatever you want with it. So this is one thing that eBay wants to avoid. They want to get to know you first, a seller, see that you know how to take care of your customers, ship out your products on time and slowly and carefully, they will start upgrading your limits. That is a brief explanation of what selling limits are, but let's see exactly how they work. To understand how eBay selling limits work, first, we need to familiarize ourselves with how the item quantity and dollar amount Amount limits work and also the monthly listing renewals that we're getting from eBay. It's going to be a little bit confusing at first, but stay with me and you'll see that everything will be understandable. Let's demonstrate how eBay selling limits work on a simple limit of 10 items and $500 which is the limit that you will get when you are creating a new seller account. Anyone who has ever created a seller account on eBay has most likely started with a limit of 10 items and $500. So let's say that that's what we began with. Now let's say we listed one item for $100. So from 10 items and $500, we're gonna now have nine items and $490 on our limits because one item got subtracted from the 10 and $100 subtracted from 500 is 490. So once you list an item, the item quantity amount and the dollar amount will be reduced from your limits. But there's another thing that will affect the limits. So let's say an item sold a couple of days after listing it. Now our limits will update to eight items instead of our nine and $480 instead of our 490. So what happened there? When you sell an item that will also affect your seller limits. So it's also listing items and it's also selling items. Each one of them will affect your selling limits and reduce them accordingly. Therefore, it's best to start with cheap items. Don't let one expensive item hog up all of your limits. So for example, if you know that you got 10 items and $500, there is no point in listing one product for $490 or $500, and then you won't be able to list the rest of your nine items because your dollar limit has already been filled up. So start with cheap items, that's the best way to start. Now, what is the monthly listing renewals? This is only relevant for the good till canceled listings, which is the listings that we are listing on eBay. So it is very very relevant for us dropshippers. All of the eBay selling limits renew at the beginning of each month, meaning we begin every month with zero items and zero dollar amount listed and sold. Even if we have a thousand products on our store, when we start a new month, our selling limits will see that we have zero items and zero dollar amount listed and sold. So what does that mean and what happens next? Every calendar month, eBay also renews the listings on our stores. That's because our fixed price listings automatically come with the good till cancelled option which I just talked about. So here's a good example to explain how that works. If we listed an item on January 5th, 
then after one calendar month on February 5th, that item is going to take up our selling limit again. So when you listed the item on January 5th, that item took a place in your eBay selling limits. Then on February 1st, when your item limits renew themselves and right now you're on zero and zero, coming February 5th, it's going to take up that space again. So before it takes up a space again after one month, it is very wise to go over your listings one day before they refresh themselves and make sure that you still want them on your stores or delete them if they are a poor performer. So I hope I made that clear. Every calendar month, your listing will refresh and take up a space on your limit again. Not at the beginning of the month, but 31 days after you listed it. So on eBay, what you want to do at this point is see which items are about to end. And this can be done pretty easily on AutoDS. Simply open up your product screen to see all of the products that you have in your store. And you will have a column that will show you how many days this listing has left before it renews itself. So check out all of your items that have zero days left, which means today they are going to refresh and take up space on our selling limits again. Go over them and see if you still want them on your store. The bad performers need to be deleted and those products that sold, this is a good time to go to your suppliers, open up their pages and look for similar products to those that are selling. But that is about product research. We're not talking about that now. That is how the selling limits work. So where can you find your eBay seller limits? You can easily find that on your selling dashboard. Let me show you exactly where that is if you haven't done it before. So first things first, log into eBay.com. Then on the top right, hover over my eBay and then click on selling. Now here is the seller dashboard. You can customize this dashboard to see any screen that you want, but what I wanna show you guys is the selling limits, which is right over here, the monthly limits. So this is one of my eBay stores. It has only about a thousand products. It's selling pretty well. It has sales every day. The profit margin is pretty high, 30, 40 to 50%. And as you can see on my monthly limits, it says that I have 1,934 products listed and sold on a limit of 4,000 items. Then I also have my fixed dollar amount limit. As you can see here, $106,000 listed and sold out of my $130,000 limit. So from the looks of it, it looks like I'm going to reach my dollar amount limit soon. And then I will have to upgrade my limits, which we will get to really, really soon. But I just wanted to show you guys where you can see your seller limits, how much limits you have left. And this is much different than your eBay store subscription. It doesn't matter even if you have an anchor subscription with thousands and thousands of listings that you can list. It won't mean anything if you don't have the right limits first. So this is where you can see your eBay seller limits. And if you don't see it on your seller dashboard, on the top right, click on customize. And here is where you can choose which screens you want to see on your seller dashboard. So that's how that is done. And that's where you can see where your seller limits reside. Before we talk about how to increase your eBay seller limits, I want you guys to know what you need to know before increasing your eBay seller limits. The more knowledge that you'll have, the more prepared you will be when the time comes to increase your seller limits. So let's talk about the things that you need to know first. Before even trying to increase your seller limits, make sure that your limits are near full. Now this is a screenshot on the old layout of eBay, but you can still use this layout if you want. As you can see here, you can sell up to 10 items or $500 per month, whichever comes first. This is usually how seller accounts begin, as I've mentioned in the beginning of this video. So as you can see here, you have sold zero dollars, zero amount. You have listed 10 products. So out of the 10 items that you can list, you already listed them. And now you can list zero items and zero dollars because you have already listed 10 items worth $500. So this is a perfect time to increase your eBay seller limits when they are full or near full. Now, if you have a new eBay account, it does need to be full or very close to full. If you have five items or eight items, make sure you have 10 and anywhere near $500 listed. So once your limits are near full, you can move on to the next condition, which is don't have any open returns, cases or unresolved buyer requests. And this is really, really important. If you have any open cases, any open returns, open cancellations that are not closed yet, do not try to ask for a limit increase because eBay's representatives will simply tell you to make sure that you have no cases open or they might not even give you that information. They'll just tell you that this is not a good time. Please try again in about one month after you get more sales or whatever. Here's a screenshot from the seller dashboard where you can see how many open returns and cases you have. So you wanna make sure that these are clean. Let me show you an example from my eBay store. So here I am still at the seller dashboard. And if I scroll down over here to orders, as you can see, I have one open cancellation 
option and three open returns and replacements, which means at this point, I cannot ask for a seller limit increase. So again, no open returns replacement, no open cancellations. That's another condition to be eligible for a limit increase. The next condition you want to make sure that you have is that your seller level is in good standing. So you want to have anywhere in above standard or top rated, but a seller account in below standard will not be eligible for a seller limit increase. And again, this is something that you can see on the eBay seller dashboard. Okay, so here is my seller dashboard again. Just gonna scroll down a little bit. And here we go, seller level, region US. Current seller level is above standard. If we evaluated you today, you would be top rated. And then you have the percentages that make up your current seller level. Now I can click on this to get a more in-depth review of how we got to this and what things I need to fix in order to get a better seller level. But as I've mentioned, above standard, top rated is all that you need to be able to be eligible for a seller limit increase. Again, this information can be found on your eBay seller dashboard. And if it isn't, go up, click the customize button and customize the screens that you will see here so that you will be able to see all of the relevant information on your seller dashboard. Next, you wanna make sure that all of your products are in stock. So before you try to ask for a seller limit increase, you wanna make sure that your products are in stock. You can check it on eBay, you can check it on AutoDS. This is a very simple procedure. And this is more relevant if you have a new store. If you have thousands of products, it's okay if some of them are out of stock, but if it is a new store and you only have your limit of 10 products, you wanna make sure that they are all in stock. Otherwise, eBay will tell you, well, your products aren't in stock. Make sure that they're in stock before reaching out to us again. Or once again, they will not give you the information that you need to know. They'll just tell you that you're not eligible. But this is another very important lesson that we learned along the way throughout our years of dropshipping on eBay. So I'm gonna click on products to see what products I have in my store. And here I have the variations that are available. So I know that these products are in stock. And I can also add a filter to see all of the products that are not in stock. So I clicked on the filter here on top and I'm gonna click on inventory status and I wanna see everything that is out of stock. I'm gonna click on done. And these are the products that have variations that are out of stock. And I wanna take care of them before asking for a limit increase. Once you verify that all of your items are in stock, the fifth condition to be eligible for a limit increase is to make sure that your PayPal account is verified. So this is another thing that can be done through eBay. If you haven't started selling, this is a really important thing that you have to take care of. Otherwise, your account will be suspended and you'll have to go through a verification process with eBay, which is fine as long as you have nothing to hide. You're telling them exactly who you are and what you wanna do, but at the end of the day, you wanna make sure that this is complete. So you can check on eBay. Let me show you guys exactly how that's done. This time, it's not going to be on the seller dashboard. Head back to the main page, hover over your name on the top left and click on account settings. Here's my account settings. Now I'm going to click on seller account here on the bottom. And here on the left side, I'm going to click on PayPal account. Now here you see it says verify your PayPal account, but there is no link here to verify. That's because this account is verified. But if you do have a link here, which will take you to your PayPal account to pass the verification process, make sure that this part is complete before trying to get a seller limit increase on eBay. The fifth condition is the final one that you want to make sure that is complete before even trying to attempt a seller limit increase. Now let's get to the main event, how to increase increase your eBay selling limits. Once we went through all of the conditions to make sure that we are eligible for a limit increase, now we can go ahead and begin with the steps to see what needs to be done to be able to increase our selling limits. Now, I wanna remind you guys that a lot of service providers are taking money for these things that you are about to learn. So learn, implement and enjoy. The first method to increase your eBay selling limits is the automatic method, which means you're selling well on eBay, you're close to your limits, eBay has algorithms to see these things and they will simply give you an automatic limit increase. This is the most recommended method to go about when it comes to increasing your eBay seller limits. This is the most ideal place that you'll wanna be because once you'll start getting the automatic limit increases, you know that you are doing a good job selling on eBay, you're shipping out your products on time, you're taking care of your customers' requests and everything is working well. So how will you know if you got an automatic limit increase? Well, you will simply get an email from eBay that will look like this. The top 
topic will be now you can list even more and the email will look like this why wait list more now highly run or whatever your name is congratulations you've been doing a great job selling on ebay and we've noticed how would you like to list even more well now you can here's how much you can list every month then you'll get a before and after on your items or on your fixed dollar amount and it can be either or and it can also be both of them at the same time so this is an example of one of the automatic limit increases that i got on one of my stores in this case they increased my amount from $35,000 to $67,000 which is almost a times two and they can do the same thing for your items too only when i got this email i probably didn't take advantage of all of my items in their limits but i was close with my dollar amount so they automatically increased that and i got more than enough automatic item increases too so don't worry about that but this is the best way to go about it be a good seller don't list items just to list them make sure that each item is optimized well you will make those sales and you will get the automatic limit increase as long as you also take care of your customers do not forget about that now let's say you did not get an automatic limit increase and you still want to increase your limits so the next method if you don't get it the automatic way is to request to list more you have a link to that and once you click on it your seller account will send ebay a request to get a seller limit increase and ebay will use automatic algorithms to give you an answer on the spot you'll get an answer either a positive one and what your limit increase is or they'll tell you sorry you are not eligible for a limit increase at this time please try again in one month now where can you find that exactly on the seller dashboard where i showed you guys where it shows you your current seller limits so let me show you once again ebay on the top right my ebay click on selling this will take you to your seller dashboard then scroll down to your seller limits and here there is a link request to list more so if i click on it it's going to send ebay the request and then i'll get an answer right away if i will get the limit increase or not the advantage here is you don't have to call ebay you don't have to try to open up any chats and you will get an answer right away right at the spot the disadvantage is if they tell you no you won't be able to ask why not or to know what's wrong or to get any other type of information the only thing that you'll be able to do is wait another month to be able to click that button again you can click it 10 times a day but it won't matter once you click on it once you won't be able to send another request for the next 30 days but that is another way to do it another quick way to do it without having to talk to them on the phone and so forth so request to list more you can find that on your seller dashboard try that but before you try make sure that you followed all of the conditions that we just talked about before to make sure that you are eligible for a seller limit increase the next way to do it is to contact ebay by phone i would mostly recommend this method and there's a good reason for that so let's go over the pros and cons of talking to them on the phone and then seeing where you can actually get their phone number so when you contact them by phone the advantage here is they usually don't record calls and even if ebay does record them it's very rare that they will ever even listen to them and that is different from sending them emails or clicking that request to list more button because they will always have that history and they will see it right away when you try to increase your seller limits again they can tell you okay we see that we see that you tried a couple days ago or, or a couple weeks ago and you have to do it every month but if you get to them on phone most chances are they won't record or listen to that call or have it anywhere in their history logs that you called and tried to get a limit increase so if you fall upon an ebay representative that's not helping you too much you can simply hang up the phone and try again so this is the biggest advantage of talking to them on the phone do not exploit this method because you know once you start exploiting methods too much then they find out about it and they make that harder for us but this is the most recommended method if you try the request to list more and it didn't work and you didn't get any automatic limit increase now the way to contact them by phone and the next methods which is contact them by email or open up a chat with them as you can see here you can also get an email option or you can even chat with ebay there is an advantage and disadvantage to each one and i will go over them but what you do need to know is the way to get there the process is the same and you can get either the email option or the phone option or the chat option and you'll be able to see exactly which option ebay is giving you depending on the subject and also depending on your location and the time zone so let me show you an example of what i mean but first before that i want to talk about the pros and cons so you know about the pros and cons of contacting them by phone we talked about that now the thing with the chat and the phone i also talked about that a couple minutes ago is that these are going to be logged these attempts so 
if you will send eBay an email or if you open up a live chat with them and you try to request a seller limit increase and for some reason they deny your limit increase, you will not be able to try again for a month, which is different from the phone, which I just explained. But again, the process to get there is the same. So let's see those options. Let's head back to eBay. Okay, now what I wanna do on the main screen is on the top bar, I'm gonna click on help and contact. Then I'm gonna scroll down a little bit, browse help articles, I'm gonna click on selling. And here, get to the exact problem that you're having. In our case, it's selling limits. So I'm gonna click on that. Now, the first thing that they're gonna do is try to teach you a little bit about seller limits and how it works. And you'll have the request a limit increase button here too, just as we've had the link on our seller dashboard that I just showed you guys. So we already tried that option and let's say it didn't work. So we're gonna scroll down some more. Again, request a limit increase, same link that will take you to the same direction. Then we're just gonna scroll down all the way. And here we have a need more help section. So here is where eBay is gonna give you a chance to either chat with them, or they're gonna give you their phone number with a one-time passcode to be able to get to an agent quickly. Or you can just use a regular eBay number. If you Google eBay contact by phone, you'll get their phone number. And then you'll simply have to wait a little bit longer to get an agent on the line. So that is another option to get them on the phone or we have the request a limit increased link as we've seen over and over again which in this case let's say it didn't help us and then we also have the email us option which in this case ebay decided to give me that option so if i click on email us it's going to open up a form and here you can write that you want a seller limit increase you took good care of your store and so forth of your customers and all that and your limits are almost full and that you have a lot more products to sell. And as they can go ahead and check your history, you've been selling really well and you've been taking care of your customers and then it won't really be a problem. So I got the email us option in this case, but if we choose different help subjects, we will get different buttons to contact them, different forms of contact. So let's say for example, let's go with setting up your return policy. I'm gonna scroll down all the way. Here I got only an email us. Let's just try one more example just to show you guys that it really does work and that if you play around with it enough, you will find different options. Again, it also depends on your time zone and your location. So all of these things affect what help options you're gonna see at the bottom. And as you see here, I did get a chat with us option with only a one minute wait time. So that's actually pretty great. And as I've explained, it depends which problem you are choosing. So I think this time it was selling fees. Right, so it was selling fees and this time I got the chat with us option. So play with the different help options. You will get also the phone, you'll get the chat and you'll also be able to talk to them by sending them an email but I do not recommend chat and email. I do recommend doing it by phone if you did not get the automatic method as I've explained before. And those are the ways to increase your eBay seller limits, but that is not all. What are you gonna do if you are not eligible for a seller limit increase? You did what you can, but the answer was no. Why? What am I gonna do about that? Now, let's go over that right this minute. First thing that you wanna make sure is to make sure that you're eligible for a limit upgrade. So go over the things that I talked about or read the blog article about the seller limit increase on the subject, what to know before increasing eBay selling limits and make sure that you meet all of these conditions. Your limits are full, you have no open returns in cases, your seller level is in good standing, which means top rated or above standard, all of your items are in stock and that your PayPal account is verified for new seller accounts. So again, read what to know before increasing my eBay selling limits and make sure that you checked in all of the conditions there. The second option is to get more sales. This one should go without saying but your ebay store needs to sell if you don't have any sales ebay will not give you a limit increase so make sure you're getting sales make sure that they're consistent and you will be eligible for a limit increase regarding the sales part okay so here's my seller hub again and as you can see i'm having constant sales every single day the first line here is 500 dollars, so i'm almost clearing that every single day and there are constant daily sales now if you have a new ebay account you probably won't get sales every day you will need to have more listings for that but do try your best to get sales when your account is still fresh and new. Most chances are you'll get automatic selling limit increases, but if you don't, it will give the eBay representative that you're talking to a justified enough reason to give you a limit increase. So if your question is, how do I get more sales? Well, that is product research, that is customer service, that is which products you're adding to your store and how many you have. We have more than enough videos and topics and articles on that. That's not what we're talking about here, but that is another condition that you need to have. Next, try instantly again by phone 
or after one month by chat or mail, which I've talked about before in this video. The biggest advantage that you will have talking on the phone is that they will not record the calls and they won't listen to them. They will not keep a transaction history of your phone attempts to increase your seller limits, but they will keep a transaction history of your chat and your mail. Again, do not exploit this too much. Keep this information to yourself. If you're gonna exploit the phone method too much, eBay is simply gonna put a stop to that and make our lives a little bit more challenging. So try again after one month or instantly by phone. And that is all when it comes to increasing your eBay seller limits. Again, guys, a lot of service providers are taking a lot of money for the information that I'm giving you guys in this video. I want you guys to have your own experience and to have the right knowledge for really being able to scale your stores. Remember that eBay is a numbers game. The more listings that you'll have, the more you'll sell. Of course, product research and the products that you are selling will make a big difference on what you will sell and what you won't, but there will always be a significant difference between stores that have a hundred or a thousand listings to those that have 10 to 20 thousand listings it's a whole different ball game so ebay selling limits is something that you need to know how to increase and the bigger your limits the more you'll be able to sell in profit scale with auto ds it'll help automate your business and again guys i hope you really enjoyed this video and the value that we're bringing to you guys if you are new to our channel this is the kind of content that we love passing forward to you so subscribe now and always stay updated on the latest and the hottest topics that are coming out in the dropshipping industry that is always made from dropshippers for dropshippers such as yourselves and if you want to see new content on auto ds head over to feedback.autods.com let us know what features you want to see and we will listen and implement Thanks for watching guys, good luck with your dropshipping stores and your seller limits.